Now recently, President Obama came out and said, uh, look, uh, for a long time in this country, conservatives have been trying to get you to fight amongst yourselves. They want the middle class to blame the poor for their problems rather than the economic elite who actually, of course, rationally run the country. I mean, they donate all the money to the politicians. He didn't talk that much about this, but it's obviously true. And so they get to set policy. How are, how is the, how are the poor so powerful that they are setting policy? Of course, that makes no sense. And he made a passing reference to Fox News about how uh, they try to stir people up against them, obviously true. And they try to stir people up against the poor. Now, Stuart Varney took a great offense at that. Let's show you him being upset about that quote from President Obama. Look, in my opinion, the president is spinning his own policy failures. As the middle class shrinks and the poor are trapped in this system, so to speak, the president blames us, the honest messengers. Just look at food stamps and Obamacare, uh, Obama phones for a moment. This is what he picked out. Right. We're not saying that the recipients of food stamps are bad people or that they're lazy. He wants to say it's us, it's the messengers. We are demonizing the poor. I don't think we are. Yeah. No, Fox News has never demonized the poor, specifically Stuart Varney. Oh, no. And I wonder how we got all this footage. When you think of poverty, you picture this. But what if I told you it really looks like this? A new report showing poor families in the United States are not what they used to be. Now, many poor families have homes with cable TV, cell phones, computers, you name it, much, much more. Studies of existing numbers from two universities show that the very wealthiest, income for the very wealthiest, is down more than for any other group. And that very wealthy group, the top 1%, they've not recovered. I'm just going to give our viewers a quick run-through of what items poor families in America have. 99% of them have a refrigerator. 81% have a microwave. 78% have air conditioning. 63% have cable TV. The top 1%, their income during and after the crash went down 20%. The bottom 90%, their income went down 13%. So the rich took it on the chin, but government programs did help raise the lower and middle classes a little bit. That's why they didn't suffer quite as much as that top 1%. No, actually what you see is that the living standards of the poor have increased rather steadily for the last 30 years. And in fact, the, the poverty report has not accurately reflected their living conditions really for several decades. And if you want to look at the very, very wealthiest people, the top one ten thousandth of one percent, their income went from 39 million in 07 to 29 million in 2013. Aww. Yes, because if you can say we're here to redistribute from the rich to you, it turns out that the rich have suffered more than you. The image we have of poor people as starving and living in squalor really is not accurate. Many of them have things, what they lack is the richness of spirit. That's my opinion. Wow. I don't know where we got the idea that Stuart Varney and Fox News might be demonizing the poor.